Don't know how to feel about that. I mean, we got the win. We go on forward, 16 points ahead. It's your boy, Ojo Y Sam here, back again with another video after Liverpool somehow managed to win 2-1 against Wolverhampton Wanderers. I mean, we started with the lineup. Lineup for both teams were both unchanged. Um, obviously, Fabinho is now back into contention, but he has. But he doesn't actually end up starting the match. But yeah, um, to be honest, going into the game, I was a little bit nervous out of the run of games that we've had. Obviously, we played United, we've played Spurs, um, and then this is basically the last game until we play City that is going to be deemed as a tough match. Um, and this was definitely the one I was most worried about. Obviously, Wolves are a team that didn't start the season quite well, but have definitely been doing much better, and especially the former Adama Traore. He, he was a player that scares me a lot, if I'm being completely honest. I mean, he's quick, he's everything like that. But we'll get into the game, first of all. Um, Wolves have a brilliant chance. Um, you know, the game started a bit... Nah, don't know how to... Not really much happened, really, in the first few minutes. But then Wolves have a really good chance. I'm pretty sure this was before the goal. With a Doherty, a brilliant cross, gets played in. And Lord knows how the hell it doesn't go in. Lord knows how it doesn't end up going in. And, um, yeah, Doherty hits it wide. In acres of space, to be honest, it was very weird from the Liverpool defence, to be honest, because normally for a defender, to, for somebody to be in that much space, we normally play in a quite a good defensive line. But I'll get into how well Wolves managed to play in that play our high, play against our high line. But then we get a goal from a corner, which stems from a free kick, I believe, which Mohamed Salah does quite well to get against, um, does very well to get. And um, I think it was a nice little ball from Oxley chamberlain Oxley chamberlain into... Salah and then um, Trent, very, very good position for him, but manages to hit the ball. And from that corner, Jordan Henderson, out of all the players to actually get a goal, it was a man like Jordan Henderson who has been getting a lot of praise and deserves so. And, you know, does very well to get a run from the edge of the box, makes a brilliant run. The Liverpool players, quite a few players were blocking the runners and then he was able to get a free header just like the United goal. Um, and it hits off his shoulder. He doesn't head the ball right. But he ends up going and posting in. Goalkeeper's not saying. It's not going to save anything whatsoever. And makes makes the game 1-0. But even still. 1-0 um, up. We had a few chances. Not going to lie. But Wolves did knock on the door a few times. You know. Adama Traore. Not as much in the first half. But especially down in that second half. But I'll get onto that later. Um, Jimenez had a chance that went wide. But we were... I would say we were more in control in that first half. In the first half, I felt like we controlled the game quite well. The tempo was very good. Um, we did quite, quite. I think we did quite well personally in that first half. It was obviously a bit shaky, but we had a very good Salah. Especially had quite a few good chances in that first half. I mean, there was one where um, Mane plays a brilliant ball, crosses it from the left hand side. Salah cuts inside. He goes again, cuts in, cuts in, cuts in, he's going in like a scissor, and then decides to not go in for the far post, but then goes into, well, doesn't go to the near post, he goes for the far post instead, it, and it, it, I didn't really understand the shot there, and he gets blocked, and then he has another one, where um, he does very well to actually get past the defenders, and then skews the shot a little bit, if I'm being completely honest, he could have just put a bit more power onto it. And he, I felt there was another chance as well where Alisson tries to do exactly what he did in that United game with the quick ball. But Salah was just very unlucky in that case to actually not get um, to get the layer off to, Sol uh, to Mane. But obviously, um, speaking about Mane, the elephant in the room here, he sadly does get an injury. I don't really even know what the cause of it was. It was so weird looking at it all and... Well, it was so weird. I mean, he was standing up, then he was sitting down, and then he was smiling, then he was like, and now I've got a car. It was such a weird scenario. But um, I've, like, having a look on social media and stuff like that, it does look like it's not going to be too bad. Uh, apparently, if I think on Bain Sports or whatever, they said that um, the, phys the actual Liverpool physio came along and said it was just a little, like, twitch in their hamstring, so hopefully that shouldn't be too bad. But we do have Shrewsbury next, so he was probably going to be rested for that anyway. So not too fussed about it. Um, hopefully, as long as it's not a two-week, three-week injury, then I think we'll be fine. Um, but obviously, Minamino comes on um, straight off from the bench. First Premier League game that he's played, I believe. I'm pretty sure, because obviously he played against uh, Everton. But since then, I don't believe he's played. Um, and he looked pretty... Um, he looked well. He looks like, obviously, the first touch he does, he does three players. But... Um, 
I'll probably get onto that down in the play in um yeah in in the player ratings afterwards and yeah but Wolves as I said they had a few chances um, Van Dijk had one where where um, they had one where Van Dijk easily blocks the ball and I think Joe Gomez as well there was another one if I'm not uh, mistaken and then in the second half that's when part of my French shit hits the fan um, yeah uh, it was very nervy it was a very weird first half I w- second half I would say it was end to end. Brilliant game. I mean, the second half went down very, very... It felt like it was, like, 10 minutes. But it was just... Yeah. I mean, Liverpool defensively didn't play well. The high line, Wolves exploited the hell out of that. But Liverpool also had quite a few chances where they should have scored. Uh, Firmino had a brilliant chance where... Kids just lift it over the goalkeeper and it would have been going in. And then, obviously, there was one with Mohamed Salah where he dispossesses Adama Traore and then forces a good save out of... Um, out of uh, Rio Patricio, but a demo trial rate for them. He, uh, I think BT Sports gave him the man of the match, and he was an absolute just machine. He was given Trent Alexander Arnold so much, so many difficulties. I mean, he got he forced him to get a yellow card after he was forced out of position. The goal, which I haven't even got into yet, there was just so many times when that left. I've never seen, I generally think, I've never seen Andy Robertson. Play like Alberto Moreno that much in my life, and credit to Adama Traore, but he was amazing for them today. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to face him again, and thank God we're not. Thank God this is the second time we're playing Wolves, and that's the only time we're probably going to play Wolves unless it's in the cup. But he was absolutely amazing today, and let's get into the goal. I mean, it was a very good um, counter attack, very very good counter attack there from uh, from Wolves. Um, the ball gets played in, in the air into Raúl Jiménez. Jiménez. Chest is down. He gets laid off into Adama Traore. Leaves um, uh, Robertson. Robertson's out of position here in this moment. And then the midfield, because it was such an end-to-end game, the midfield wasn't able to track back as um, as well. And that left a massive gap. I mean, brilliant crossing. Um, Adama Traore, which was doing the whole game, gets down to the byline, gets a crossing. And, um, and then, yeah, and then Raul Jimenez does very well to actually... Move away from um, Joe Gomez, and Joe Gomez couldn't really do much, and neither could Alisson there for the goal, and it was a very good finish. I mean, it was around the 50th minute, and a very good goal, and uh, yeah, very annoying if I say so myself. But, yeah, we were, um, and then yeah, it was just wave after wave of just Adama Traore. I mean, Robertson ends up getting a yellow card after, which I did think was offside, by the way, so even if they did score, I'm not sure from the free kick, but if he'd scored, if Robertson had given away a foul... Or if it would have been given a penalty, I'm pretty sure they would have flagged it off as offside. But uh, yeah, and then uh, from the free kick, they did have a good chance. But again, they were offside. Um, and yeah, they were just dominant. It was a poor performance a little bit. I've never seen. And I don't know whether this is because Mane's not on the pitch, but the attack felt disjointed. The midfield didn't feel felt disjointed as well. Robertson down that left-hand side didn't do well for me as well. There was a lot wrong with this performance. And Salah, which... Oh, just, he's a great player. He's a great player. But why do you have to play like Robin sometimes? And that's what annoys me. Because this game especially, that chance, I think before Oxley chamberlain gets hooked off for Fabinho, how the hell he does not play it off to Oxley chamberlain there? I have no idea. I was screaming and shouting at my, at my laptop when I was watching it because how the hell is he not how is he hell is he not passing it there to Oxide Chamberlain basically if you guys didn't see Salah gets the ball down on the right hand side and in my opinion should have laid the ball first time into Oxide Chamberlain where there was a massive because obviously Liverpool loved to switch the play and then the fullback I uh, think I believe it was Doherty was just left out of position he was a bit too inside and that left Oxide Chamberlain who came in from deep to get a lot of time on the ball but then Salah just keeps on going with the ball. He had it on the edge of the D, keeps on running until he gets inside the box onto his left foot and goes for the shot. And even still, even if he had delayed it by a second, Oxley Chamberlain was still the better option there in that moment. Um, but Salah doesn't end up doing that. And it was a chance ru- a ruin, to be honest. Um, obviously, I mentioned the Firmino chance as well, where, yeah, <laughs> where I felt like he could have just lifted up a bit over the goalkeeper because the goalkeeper was going to ground. But man like the Bobby Dazzler comes in clutch in the last minute and yeah Salah does very well to actually maintain the ball he does a little nutmeg keeps the ball very well was very strong but then he was faffing about with the ball a bit too much for my liking so Henderson just says nah let me take this quickly 
gets the ball, lays it off into Firmino. Firmino rectifies the chance that he had before and just blasts it into the top corner. Well, I'd say top corner, screw it. Leaves Rio Patricio there doing absolutely nothing and brilliant finish there. And I think Salah comes off after that, if I'm not mistaken. But again, even still, I mean... From before that moment, before we had the few chances before that, Wolves were dominating possession. They were getting the ball. They were having loads of chances. They were creating a lot of like, difficulties for our defence, which I'll probably say has been our most difficult game by far. Um, and then even towards the last minutes of the game where normally we shut up shop, we barely let any chances go through. And luckily, Wolves in the last few minutes of the game, um, Adama Traore again gets the ball down on that um, on the right-hand side, crosses it in. And the ball ends up going over the, everybody, goes down to the left-hand side, ball gets played across into Jota, and Jota hits it over the bar. And again, we get very, very lucky. It was a poor performance, if I'm being completely honest. Even Alisson, I mean, Adama Traore forced a save out of Alisson, which was a very, very good save. And yeah, it was just a very... A poor performance, but a win nevertheless, which I know it's a cliche, but the market champions. And... It's got to be, it's got to be. But before we start talking about the league, let me get into the player ratings. First of all, Alisson Becker, I'm going to give him an 8 out Yeah, eight, 9 out of 10. Because reason being, I feel like he dealt with a lot of the crosses that went towards him, especially from Adama Traore. He, did, he dealt with them quite well. Even some of them where he would get fouled, he'd be able to get the ball back again. That happened probably twice, one in each half. But yeah, it was just always obviously made a very good save against um, Adama Traore and didn't really... And it was also one towards the end with Raul Jimenez where he did quite well, but the angle was quite tight, so it was expected of him. But yeah, I thought it was a good performance. Distribution was good as always. Um, and yeah, so yeah, for me, 9 out of 10. Um, Robertson, I think he had a stinker today, bro. Honestly, had a stinker. 5 out of 10. I know Adam Atari is a very difficult player to come up against. He's very physical, very, um, very quick. He's direct. He's a very difficult player, but I felt like sometimes Robertson got caught out of position a few times. His attacking threat wasn't as good as it normally is. Um, yeah, he had a bit of a Moreno game today. That's probably the best way I can describe it. A Moreno game. So yeah, I'm going to give him a 5 out, 5.5 out of 10. I don't think he played well today. Um, then Trent Alexander-Arnold. I mean, my guy, he's doing the assist. He got an assist for the corner. I mean, he got an assist, two an assist if you technically speak. He got the, free, got the corner. Then takes the corner, gets the goal. Um, overall, I thought he'd, there was a few times where he was a, struggling a little bit. But overall, I don't think, uh, probably mainly because he doesn't have a Dama Traore on, that, um, on, that, on, the, on his side. But yeah, he was... Yeah, I thought it was alright. I'm going to say 7 out, 8 out of 10 just because he got the assist. But if it wasn't for the assist, I would probably say an uh, 7 out of 10. I don't think he was very, very good. But he was alright. He was just standard. Um, standard trend. Um, then... You know what, Joe Gomez, let me do that one first. Uh, for me, Joe Gomez, I'd say 8.5 out of 10. And by the way, how the hell was he given a foul there? How the hell was that a foul on that left-hand side? I have, or well, down the right-hand side anyway, but what was the left-hand side? I have no idea how the hell that was a foul. But anyway, I thought he dealt with Raul Jimenez quite well. There was a brilliant block that he actually pulled off. Um, I think from the what, a counter-attack. It was a counter-attack from Wolves, and he manages to pull off a brilliant block. Um... I don't think it was as good as Virgil van Dijk, but he still played a very, very good performance. And shame not to get the clean sheet, obviously. But um, yeah, for me, 8.5 out of 10. And then Virgil van Dijk. Honestly, the fear, I've... You saw this last season. And obviously, Adama Traor wasn't as good. But this season, I mean, van Dijk just... Just bullied, just bullied everyone, to be honest. He did... Like, even there was a time, few times where he looked like... You know, Raul Jimenez had the better of him or anything like that. He was able just to recoup the ball and... Just be Virgil van Dijk. I mean, he even forced Adama Traor, who was on a great counter-attack, to just, yeah, just shoot the ball from 30 yards and just hope for the best because he was that scared of Virgil van Dijk. Um, so, yeah, for me, it was a solid 9 out of 10 performance for me. Um, Jordan Henderson, for me, my personal man of the match. If it wasn't for Henderson, I would have given it to Virgil van Dijk. But, yeah, I thought his first half was exceptional. I will give him that. I thought a few bits in the second half weren't as good, but I feel like the whole team wasn't as good in that second half. But there was especially in the... Yeah, especially in that first half, the, the amount of times that they, the midfield would just press and just he would be the catalyst for it. The amount of times, even in the second half, where there would be a counter-attack, he'd be bombing forward. It was just so much that you could 
sense the energy just watching, just watching it on the screen. Like it was insane amount of energy. And obviously he gets the goal. He gets a brilliant assist there from um, into Roberto Firmino. For me, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 performance. It was a brilliant performance from Jordan Henderson today. And lately he's been one of our most consistent performers and fair play to him. He's been absolutely amazing. And it's like, it's, it's difficult for, you know, the likes of Naby Keira and that to get into the squad because he has been absolutely insane. And credit to him, bro. C credit to him. Um, Jeannie Van Alden, again, it was a bit of a weird one again for Jeannie Van Alden. I thought first half, alongside with Jordan Henderson, he was absolutely amazing. He was linking up the play well. He was pressing very well. Um, so, yeah, for me, I'm going to say an out of 10. Um, then Oxlade Chamberlain, he had a few good moments, but... <sighs> Obviously, if Salad laid the ball off to him and he actually was able to convert a chance, maybe he might get a higher rating for me. But for me, I don't think he did too much in the game. And maybe, maybe you guys may disagree with me, but I don't think he did too much in the game. For me, it was uh, probably, i say 6.5 out of 10. I don't think he did too much in the game uh, to actually impact from it, um, to make an impact, sorry. And yeah, 6.5 out of 10 for me. And um, then, Salah. <sighs> Mohamed Salah. One of the most infuriating players in the Premier League by far. I mean, he's a great player. He's a fantastic player. But boy, just pass the ball. Pass the ball, especially in this game. The amount of times where he passed, you know, his decision making wasn't on top on form today. His passing wasn't that as good. I mean, he's, he was selfish. It wasn't. Ah, oh, it's a lot. You made me rip my hair out. I swear to God. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm I'm sorry. I, I don't. I I love the guy, but again, he frustrates me so much. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give him a six point five out of ten. I mean, if he'd only just pass the ball to Oxlade Chamberlain, if he only pass the ball to Oxlade Chamberlain, and thank the Lord that Henderson actually get got the ball away from him because I don't even know what the hell he would have done if yeah he got so many chances to shoot he just wouldn't do it. It was it was very frustrating. Very and he had a load of chances. I'm pretty sure he could have had a hat trick today. If he actually took his chances. So yeah, I'm gonna say a seven out of ten. Just Salah man, just please just pass the ball a bit often. Please. <laughs> um Sadio Mane, short cameo, but um played very well. I thought he played quite well, it was very it was always part of the counter-attack. Um can't really say much. I mean, could have got an assist. Salah taking this opportunity, but hey, I'm gonna say again a seven out of ten, but Probably if we play if we played a bit more. Hopefully he's fit, fingers crossed. And then Roberto Firmino. Could have got a goal in that um could have got a goal earlier on before he actually scored. Um but takes the goal brilliantly. It was very good. I mean it was a very weird so when Minamino came on, he did look at sometimes he was on the left hand side, but I'll get onto that mainly when I speak about Minamino. Um was creating quite a few counter attacks, passing the ball quite well. Um I'm gonna say for me. 9 out of 10 for Roberto Firmino. Played very well. Was obviously came in clutch towards the end as well. Um, and yeah, um, I'm now going on to the bench. Obviously, Minamino comes in around the 30th minute, 33rd minute or something like that. Um, for Sadio Mane. And starts off brilliant. Gets a brilliant turn. Um, but he did little things good. Like, you, you could see why he was brought in. But he didn't really do anything to like... Apart from obviously that little flick on. He didn't do anything to wow... Um, but it was really weird. It, sometimes it felt like he didn't know what his position was because sometimes he'd I'd, maybe Klopp, that's what Klopp told him to do. But sometimes he was on the left and towards then Genie Vinaldo was towards the left sometimes and Firmino was on the left and then he was in deep. It was so weird. It, I, I, I can't really describe his position, but I felt like once, um, yeah, but then towards the end when he was on the right, it did look a bit more dangerous. But um, yeah, so I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 again. And the flick alone was dirty as hell. I'm not even, don't get it twisted. That flick was dirty as hell. Um, but yeah, yeah, for me, it was a uh, yeah, 7 out of 10 performance. And then um, Fabinho, it was great to see him, obviously. Um, yeah, it was great to see him, obviously. I feel like we should have brought him on earlier because Robertson was having so much trouble with the Dama trial and he did manage to stifle out the... Stifle it out a bit. It did misplace a pass um, in that second half, obviously. But again, it's a solid performance, to be honest. He tried feeding the balls over the top. And um, yeah, for me, again, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. I mean, I don't think there was that many stand-up performers. And Origi, 20, 27 out of 10. You already know. Didn't really do much. Um, but obviously, um, did we get the goal? No, no, we didn't get the goal before. No, we didn't. Um, 
No, I was going to say, but you know, as soon as Origi started warming up, they already knew that Liverpool had to get a goal. Um, but yeah, um, the league, uh, it's getting it's getting tiring just speaking about us winning the league. But yeah, now we're on sixty-seven points out of a possible sixty-nine. I mean, Lord, did today look like a potential point dropped? And it's this team doesn't know when it's beaten. Uh, I mean, it's a fantastic team, one of the best teams, best Liverpool team I've ever seen. These guys here are just absolutely amazing. I mean, the fact that we got a win today, it didn't look like it was going to happen, but it ended up happening. We're top of the league. We're winning the league. Hopefully, we can add a few more trophies into this cabinet just to make it, because technically, that will make it a treble. So, hopefully, we can get more. Maybe four or five, I don't know, Champions League, FA Cup. That wouldn't be too, that wouldn't be too bad anyway. But it is the end of the video. If you guys did like the video, please make sure to smash that like button also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel i leave a comment down there in the comment section below about your opinions on the game your player ratings or anything like that um but yeah um and also i'll probably leave a poll one of these sides don't ask me which one uh, <laughs> but you'll see it anyway about who was your man of the match have you booked your tickets to the parade because i'm not tickets but booked your hotel you go be going to the parade because it's gonna happen let's be honest here and um yeah Let's bring on Shrewsbury, to Shrewsbury. Hopefully we can win in that game. We should do. It's your boy, Ojo Why Sam here. I've had a fantastic day. And I hope you guys do too. See ya.